It has now been more than a week since a ransomware attack hit Baltimore City servers this morning. All that data is still being held hostage. WMAR 2 News Chanel Perrins in the newsroom. And Chanel, this attack is hurting more than just the many agencies involved in Baltimore City government. Yes, Christian, the attack is impacting a number of different businesses and companies, including those looking to buy or sell a home in the city. A real estate agents and title companies say the city cannot record housing sales or purchases, which has stopped any closings, essentially putting a hold on buying and selling homes throughout Baltimore. And since 70% of home sales happen between April and November each year, this is also hurting real estate agents financially. My heart is beating out of my chest, you know. As a small family business, 16 years in Baltimore City, I don't know what the next 10 minutes will be, let alone the next three weeks. The ransomware attack is even holding back permitting. The manager of the new Cross Street Market tells us several of their vendors are still waiting on final inspection of their restaurants or permits for their stalls within the newly renovated building. The city says it's working with the FBI to get the systems back online, but that process could take weeks. Mayor Jack Young says he still will not pay that ransom. Christian. Okay, we will continue to follow that story until there's a resolution. Thanks, Chanel.